Hello and welcome to another Checkpoint and Chill. Tonight we're playing Evangeline. Um, the intro for Checkpoint and Chill is very cheery. Let's, let's be real, it's very, you know, it's nice and funky, but this is supposed to be a really emotionally racking and weird-ass game. Um, that's supposed to be, it's supposed to be quite emotional, it comes from the heart. Uh, so this is probably gonna be a different turn of Checkpoint and Chill tonight, I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, but yeah, it's supposed to be a short little game, uh, made for fans of games like Gone Home and Dear Esther and Journey. Games like that, so this is going to be really cool, So, because uh, those are some really cool games. So let's press play. Um, oh, we've got to have it on very high. Evangeline is a game uh, heavily focused on your colour. Please choose the option that best describes you. I mean, I'm not, I'm not colourblind at all, so this is going to be interesting. Man, it's going to be working with colour? Sweet, get, uh, films like, do you know the film Hair? Which is um, not hair as in the hair on your head, as in hair. As in, that girl over there is a hair. Um, that movie really focuses on colour as well, and I love aesthetics that focus on different colour palettes and interesting use of colour, so this should be really cool. In 1847, American author Henry Wadsworth Longfellow published Evangeline, a tale of a, a, a Sadie? I don't know. A long-form poem chronicling the tale of the expulsion of the Acadians from Nova Scotia by the British. It is told the story, uh, it told the story rather, of Evangeline, an Acadian woman, searching for her lover Gabriel. While grossly inaccurate with respect to the historical events it represented, Evangeline is a story about love, and it's one of the many reasons we picked that name for our game. Life, love, and loss inspired this experience, and from the bottom of our hearts, we hope it has as much meaning to you as it does for us. Well, this is a great game to play on the day after uh, Valentine's Day. Holy shit. So let's start it up. For some reason, my mouse can't move past the, this point, and I'm really not sure why. Um, maybe that'll come into fruition. Day one. Fresh air. Oh. Okay. Well, it looks like we're in some sort of... Wow, the mouse sensitivity is low. So what have we got? We've got a broom. Oh, look, the... It's actually like got a lot of physics to it. Can we pick it up? No. Oh. It's all gone black and white. Okay. There's a calendar here. What does that say? Visit Gabriel, does that say? Visit something, I think. Spacecraft, spacecraft of the month. Wow, what a nerd. Uh, we can't pick any, any of that stuff up. There's our car. Well, I presume it's our car. We're in this random... Random thing. Uh, random garage. I hope it's our own. Can we... Do maybe do a trash can glitch? That'd be hilarious. They are kind of glitchy, it looks like, so maybe they will start something. Alright, here we are, in this lovely neighbourhood. It's all black and white. It's a nice little suburb. For some reason, there's a massive truck there, which, uh, very appropriately stops us from getting out, so, um, that's good. There's a note here. I don't want to be responsible for uprooting our life, but we just can't make it here anymore. I love you, but please understand that this is it for us. And not me. Oh, this is for us and not me. Okay. Um, a letterbox here. Don't think we can do anything with that. So someone's moving out here? It seems. I mean, either way, it's blocking the entire street. This is very careless by whoever drove this here. Um, can we interact with any of this? I always think that letterbox is a dude for some reason. Just stood there watching me. Oh, it looks like there's another letter here. Zoom up. Look, Phyllis, I'm not one of those people who complains, but see, I'm about to complain. The Millers need to hire someone better to do their lawn. Their edges are undefined, and their lawn makes our community look like a laughingstock compared to Eagleton. Roger. So is this the, the poorly trimmed grass? I mean, I guess, so. Uh... Yeah, this is interesting. So is, are there any more letters around here, or...? Don't think there is. Okay, there's birds flying around. I guess we're going this way, to the end of the um, to the end of the street. I hope I don't miss out on any any more letters. Looks like we're not. Oh, there's something up there. Look. Oh, whoa. So when we entered here, the color like all comes back. It's when we focus on this balcony, all the color comes back. Look. So I guess that's uh, our next... 
our next target, maybe? Oh. So by looking at that vase of flowers... What? That was weird. That was like Romeo and Juliet. So once again, we've been sleeping in the garage. Um, yeah, that's all the same. Again, very colourful. Man, it is very colourful when you can actually like see things. So if we go back this way... Oh, it looks like we're not we're not focusing on this thing now. It looks like there must be something else. So it's trash day. So that says to me we've got to take our bins out. I wonder if, if like all the nerds are still in the same place and stuff. Uh, we'll head back to our garage in a second. Oh look, there's some beds. I'm like stood on one right now. It's very careless of me. Um, okay, a trash can. Oh. Okay. Can we go check out those nerds again? Can we throw that away? There we go. Let's uh, let's put it up there. I'm trying to throw it onto that onto that balcony. Hold on. <laughs> this is supposed to be an emotional experience, Steve. Get it together. <laughs> right. Uh, let's take this second trash can. Put that down. Um, is that it? Or oh look, there's another nerd. If I can get three more lawns cut. For the remainder of the summer, I'll have enough for a brand new transmission. I can swap it. Uh, I can swap it in about two days with Drew's help, and then still have a, a week to ask Jessica to the back to school dance. She'll say yes. I know it. No one else has a car at school. I'll be the first. Dude, the, the way to someone's heart is not through material items. It's through being a good guy and being a nice person and being yourself. So I mean. You should really try to be a good person. And, uh, love will come. There we go, there's a bit of- Oh no, I just dropped on that poor bird! <laughs> um, I was just talking about being a nice person and I just crushed that bird. Um, yeah, it's all about being a good person. So if you guys strive to do that, then I'm, I'm sure love will find you eventually. So is that it? Or... Do I have to do something else here? Are there any more nerds around here? I guess we look at this again. Yeah. So that rounds off the day, just looking up at that balcony. And this really nice soundtrack plays. Day three, extra, extra! Alright, once again, sleeping in the garage. Nothing's changed on the calendar. Um, oh look! There's the newspaper. Today's paper. I don't think we can zoom in or anything. Can't really read that. Um, no, I can't read that at all. Am I supposed to be able to read that? Can I, like, change my resolution so I'm zoomed in? My resolution should be... Can I not... Can I not do this? Oh, maybe I can't zoom in. That's a shame. Um, right, let's look for more notes then. Oh, look, there's more... Yeah, can I pick up this? No. Has the colour changed a bit? I don't know. Um, let's see, is there any... Any more nerds? Also, if you hear weird noises in the background of my microphone today, I've tried to turn my gain down so you might not be able to hear it, but... Uh, there seems to be some construction or something going on next door, so... That's just fabulous, isn't it? Uh, no stuff in here. I guess we're going straight to the... Yeah, straight to the flower pot. Although, I would like to find some... Some more nerds. Because they're just interesting to read, you know what I mean? Like, this game's so weird and, and mysterious. Can I pick up this paper? No. I don't think there are any nerds here for this... This section. There must be, right? No, we'll just skip that. Alright, let's head over here. Look at the vase. I'm intrigued to see where this is gonna go, though. Dear four, snail mail. So I guess we're checking the mailbox today. Let's have a look at our calendar. Still the same. Still the same. So this is all... Man, this person must have a boring life, just walking outside every day and looking at the same flower pot. Um, okay, so we check in our mail. Ah, a letter. What does that say? N. Labonda or something? Can I... Can I read it? I don't think I can. Let's take it over to the, uh, to the vase up there, the flower pot. Maybe... Maybe it'll do something. No? Okay. 
Was this odd? This is so odd. Ah. Nothing happened. What? Um... Am I supposed to be doing something or was that supposed to happen? Am I supposed to do something with the letter? Am I supposed to put it in someone else's mailbox? I don't think I can open any of the other ones. No, maybe I'm supposed to put it in the one over here. Like, but like for this house. I can't open it. I can't read it though, that's the thing. Hmm. Let's just leave it there for now. Just keep having a little look around. We must be missing something. Oh my god, my house looks terrible in comparison to everyone else's. Look at those windows. What? Do they have a house fire or something? Don't think I can go in my house either. Oh. Uh, what? I just glitched through that wall? Yeah, that's the thing. Alright. <laughs> um, okay, is that another? No, I thought it was another nerd over there. I can't close that up. Oh, there's another... Yeah, there's a letter here. Something there? Ugh, the edge is busted again. I replaced the wiring not too long ago and it worked for a bit. Man, if I have to get a new edger, that'll be that'll be put behind schedule. That'll put be that put me behind schedule, and the Chimera won't be ready in time for the dance, and then I know Jessica will say no. I hope no one notices. Alright, I hope no one notices either, but really, honestly, focus on things other than material possessions, dude. Right, uh, well, let's go back over to the vase. Maybe I can't complete my day until I've checked all the nerds. So maybe that's the last nerd? Ah. Well, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this letter. Am I supposed to bring it back into the house? That makes sense, right? I don't think I can post it through anyone's door. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, fine. Well, that took long enough. Package deal. Day five. Sounds like it's raining. Some sort of package outside. Package, yep. Yeah. Should we check if there are any more notes just quickly? I wanna, I'm really intrigued about this guy's car. I want to see the outcome of this. It looks like he's, he's either stopped working on it or... Oh, look. Though we leave this little town behind, please know we'll return one day. It was our hometown, but for, for now, we've outgrown it. I'll miss our neighbours and friends, but that's the thing about friends. You can pick up later on without missing a beat. Yeah, I just suppose that's true. I mean, it's nice to be around them though, isn't it? Nothing around here. There's another nerd. You know, the damn Twine, Pe Twine Pines neighbourhood supervisor, Phyllis. My complaint is your responsibility. This would have never happened over at my last neighbourhood. Learn Pines. Fine, I'll go talk to them. So I guess we'll bring this uh, package back inside. I just want to check if the vase works. Man, it looks terrible. It looks like England. <laughs> looks like England right now. Um, I don't know what that does exactly. Like, does someone live there that I care? The vase is gone. Oh no, it's there. <laughs> I thought I disappeared. I thought I disappeared. Like. As I looked away, I thought it was some Slenderman shit. It was about to turn into a horror game. Alright, let's take this um, package inside then. Day 6, crossing the threshold. The music has got very creepy. Can I pick that up? No. Alright, early morning. Back outside. Another nerd for this guy who wants to uh, ask the girl out on the date. 
Great. The millers talked to me about the edges. They kept saying that they thought I was doing a great job, but other people were complaining. Pfft, sure. Other people. Now I have to get a new edger. There goes my shot with Jessica. More stuff over here. Let's just check the normal locations for these, uh, for these nerds. I don't think there is anything. Uh, on this side, no. Nothing in particular. Oh, look. If we go back, that door's, like, lit up, so maybe... Does the vase work? The flowers still work? No. So maybe I'm going in. Ah. Um... Home. Um. Tenant. This toilet is in working order, and I can't find the problems you mentioned. In fact, it's one of the finest specimens I've ever seen. Let me know if you have any further issues. Sincerely, Andy. This is really... Oh, I don't have a reflection, apparently. Uh, this is very... I don't know. Mysterious? Abstract? Let's check upstairs. See what's going on around here. Man, nice place there. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, is that me, Evangeline? So it looks like it's abandoned or something. Some pictures there. More up over that way. Letter. My dearest Evangeline, these are your favourite flowers, spider lilies. I make sure to change them every day for you. You made my life incredible. Our wedding day was a moment that, in some ways, feels as if it were years ago, but in other ways, feels as if it just occurred yesterday. On that day, we began a journey. One that was filled with ups and downs. We brought two beautiful children into the world, and they have been the best part of our lives from the moment we knew our family would grow larger. When I was drafted for the war, you waited for me. When I anxiously suggested you move to a place you had never heard of in order to marry me, you graciously accepted. When I had to begin my residency, you took care of our daughter, even when I could not pull my weight. With patience and kindness, love and affection, strength and courage, you helped our family remain strong and connected. There is no one I would have wished to spend my life with more than you. Sometimes, life has a different plan. I think about that day a lot. Wait, have, have I? Yeah, I think about that day a lot. It keeps me awake at night. This is the only way that I can be strong, even after all these years, by leaving you notes and flowers just like I used to do. You always told me that it was my destiny to be a doctor, but my beloved, it pains me to walk into the ward because it only causes me to remember that dreadful day when I received the call. It was too late. I panicked. I rushed to you. I frantically asked the nurse if this was a horrible misunderstanding. We loved our son so much before we even knew him. I'll never forget the smile you had when we spoke of who he would become and all of the adventures we would undertake together. But I never could have imagined that I would trade you for him. In a heartbeat, you were gone and I was never able to tell you goodbye. I was alone in this world, trapped in solitude, raising our son by myself during the day and working at the hospital at night. I never slept so much. You teased me about it, how I begged to be teased by just one more time, to hear your laughter echoing throughout our home, to bring you your morning coffee and chat about life, love and the world. Three cups, one for me, two for you, because you taught me to like coffee, although not as quite... Uh, not quite as much as you enjoyed it. In a way, I'm glad that we never said goodbye now. I leave you flowers and write these notes. I just like when you were here. For you, will, uh, for you will always live on in my heart. 
Decades have passed. Seasons have come and gone. The world has changed beyond recognition, but you will always be my world. I can't keep the flowers inside, for being around them too long reminds me of the gaping hole in my life ever since your beautiful soul left this world. Our grandchildren are lovely. I tell them about you every single day, and it's as if they knew you. Oh, how my heart wishes they could have truly known you, for their world is not as rich as one in which you were here. I love you, Evangeline. I always have, and I always will. Thank you for your wisdom, your kindness, and your love. I hope you love the flowers. You would have killed me if you knew how expensive they were. All my love, Gabriel. Man. Now I need to ask something of you. Oh, that's adorable. Well, my girlfriend's currently uh, out eating with her friends, and then she's going to the gym, so I can't really call her. <laughs> but uh, I would if if now was a thing. We hope you had a meaningful experience with someone you love. After the credits, you'll be returned to the game where you can read other letters filled with real love stories until you're finished. Thank you so much for being part of Evangeline. Share this with someone you know so they can contact, so that they can co uh, connect, rather, sorry, with their loved ones too. Love, Rackenter Games. Well, that was a lot more hard hitting than I thought it would be. Um, man. So whenever, well, Evangeline's dead. Evangeline passed away. And whenever I think I think she actually uh, died in childbirth or something, because um, the the dude Gabriel said like I never thought I'd trade you for him or or vice versa or something along the, along those lines. Um, whenever she looked at the flowers, her favorite flowers, she was like, every oh, the color was like back. The world was made vibrant once more. That was cool. I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, that was very emotional. Probably one of the most emotional games I've ever put on this channel. So that is such a change of pace to what you guys normally expect on the channel. Uh, on the channel, normally I try to keep things quite cheery, quite excitable. I'm sorry if I've been a bit quiet or, you know. I really appreciate games like this that are all about the meaning rather than like making the most innovative, most gritty, most you know awesome complex story. I really like just games that are very quaint and very artistic because oftentimes the discussion comes up about whether video games are art or not. Oh look, Phil Spencer, he's the uh, Ram isn't, doesn't he do um, Mr. Robot? I don't know. I think so. Ubisoft Montreal, Xbox. Um, oftentimes the discussion get, uh, comes up as to whether games are art and I always say yes. And people are always like, how are they are? And I like to show them games like Journey. Oh. Oh god. Uh, I, I always like to show them games like Journey, Abzu, The Last Guardian. And um... Oh god, this is so sad. Sorry, it keeps getting sadder and sadder. <laughs> and, uh, and, and games like this, like Evangeline. And in the future, I think I will show people this game. Just to show that video games do have a message, and they, they are a form of art. Yeah, this is really neat. Love defeats them all. Thank you to my team, my family, and my departed grandparents, Big George, Jack, and Granny. I miss you more than anything. Nicholas Laborde. Thanks for playing the latest Raconteur story. We're excited to share more soon. Well, Raconteur, I... I'm excited to, um to play them. I will definitely play through those games in the future. Uh, yeah, so that was Evangeline. If you guys enjoyed the video, then uh, leave a comment. I don't want any likes or subscribers or whatever. I'm not asking for them, but they would be nice. Um, <laughs> but what I'm asking for is just for you to comment and just like, tell me what you thought of this game and whether or not, what you think the message was. And I'd love to uh, get a discussion going based on that. So I guess we're, where are we now? Okay, we're back in. Uh, now my mouse is all messed up. So these are all... Oh god, my mouse is terribly messed up. So these are all like the love letters and stuff. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have time to read through them all now. But... This is cool. This is really cool. I highly recommend you guys go uh, try this game out. 
Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This means Steve, that has been another Checkpoint and Chill. Quite possibly the most emotional game I've ever put on my channel. Checkpoint complete.